All right, YouTube, it's time to reveal some of my occult practice, and I'm not by far the only one doing this. It involves literally tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of participants, uh, some of which are aware of what's happening, many of which are not. And that's the mimetic and occult attacks upon Hillary Clinton that are driving her health downhill, uh, that are slowly degrading her fluency in speech, that are making her... Uh, making people less receptive towards her message, making her sound more boring. Here's a person who, not that long ago, really carried herself with a much greater degree of charisma than in the last six months or so. Even at the beginning of the Democratic primaries, most of the degradation of Clinton that you see now, I'm not talking about, oh, well, her support. That happens. There are fluctuations within politics. But the degradation of her speaking abilities, of her health, of people's perception of her, is partially related to occultism. Now, not completely. Some of it's just organic politics. It's the way that things operate. Uh, but it's being aided by mimetics, especially uh, in twain with occultism. For example, I'll use my own practice. Most of my ceremonialism is twain with music. When I put out a piece of music under the, the title of Hexenhammer, or anything like that, it is always an occult ritual. There is not one piece of music on that playlist that's not an occult ritual, including when I sing satirical covers of other songs. It means that I'm attacking something with my occultism. I'm trying to affect and scramble the psychology of people who are naturally going to be more receptive towards that. For instance, I targeted ICQ. And by doing this, very quickly, uh, ICQ began to falter. Now, prior to me uh, launching into these diatribes, trying to affect the psychology of the user base, including some of the moderators there. ICQ had already taken hits physically because of trolling raids, but it was stable. It was not filled with such stupidity and such ineffectiveness on behalf of those that were operating there uh, that it was going to fall in on itself fairly quickly thereafter it did. I've been attacking Hillary Clinton with magic. Yeah, absolutely. She is cursed. She's hexed, bound, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I sing Evil Woman, which is sort of an occult song anyway, evil sort of uh, fits in with the sinister path, the left-hand path, speaking sort of like a wretched sorceress or something like that. Hillary Clinton has people that support her, that are on her teams, that deal with memetics. Ted Cruz famously was directly partnered uh, with a man who ran applied memetics. Now, you may think that this is all just a bunch of geeky shit on the internet, but those viral memes affect people's psychologies on a profound level, very inexpensively. If you can design them in such a way that they begin spreading organically so that no one is any the wiser, that it's been manufactured by a company, a political campaign, whatever, then it will be far, far easier than buying an ad on TV. For a fraction of the cost, it will reach more people. Those people are potentially more politically aware anyway because of the way memes filter around the internet. But it goes further than this. My rituals tend to be sonic. I wrote a book on sonic magic. I wrote the literal book on this topic, other than Nicholas Schreck's work, which I still haven't completely read uh, far better <laughs> than mine as far as being more in-depth on these subjects, but I like to think that mine is more readily available, at least until he works on the second edition thereof. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I have been working magic against the Clinton campaign. Do you think that it's coincidental that I start doing this? Uh, I release Evil Woman, and for a couple of days, all we get is completely negative news up and over the heads of the mainstream media about the FBI releasing new info, uh, her support tanks among key groups, her polls in general begin tanking as well. She gives the poorly thought out Reno speech on memetics practically <laughs> on an organic basis, completely screws herself and literally starts guzzling down the poison of hexes and curses that are being flung every which way by tens of thousands of people, myself included. And all of these negative things begin to affect her. I then release like the last slew of music and she goes back into coughing fit mode and she gets even more bad campaign news in, in the sense of this hammer controversy and all of these things. That is not completely coincidental. A person can believe it is, but people's psychologies are affected by things, even the course of events, insofar as they just involve humans and human timelines, are affected by these things. 
you get some story that goes completely apeshit viral and it can delay other news stories. They will, the, the media will hold them back. It can delay press conferences. It can delay meetings. It can delay flights. It has real world implications. This is not a joke. The way in which these things operate, the transference of thought from one person to another is a major thing. Now, on a, on a mundane person-to-person -person basis, it has no significance outside of the people taking part in it. But what about when thousands or tens or hundreds of thousands or 10 million or 100 million people are taking part in the same thing? What if it's being broadcast, not just by one mainstream network or a host of them, but millions of people spreading it around like wildfire using the increasingly quick apparatus of the internet. It has a profound implication upon human thought. It affects the way that people live their day-to-day -day lives. They alter their behavior in accordance with these things. Nobody is shielded from it unless they really, really know what they're doing. Unless they choose to take control of these things rather than be particularly swayed by them. That's a minority of the population. Most people don't even take them seriously, so they just sort of mindlessly absorb it the same they do TV. It's actually astonishing to see people act this way. Uh, as far as Hillary Clinton is concerned, her campaign and any other political campaign is perhaps even more vulnerable than any sheep-like private individual because they have to absorb this material. They have no choice but to react to the organic movements that happen online and elsewhere. Just like a political campaign will move to react to a news story that's not flattering, even if it's not at first very well known, they will move quickly to nip it in the bud, hopefully to stave off any problems. How much more will they move into place and try to block out any negative uh, intent on the part of, uh, of occultists or people who just, you know, they sit in the basement and make memes all day? They can be just as effective in some ways, uh, in a physical sense, as far as the transference of information back and forth between individuals. They will move even more quickly. When Hillary Clinton was pushed to spend a half an hour talking about what had previously been classed as largely an internet-only movement of a few thousand nerds, which is what they considered the alt-right. It was the greatest mistake in modern politics, and people will remember that fact. It made her look dumb, it made her look out of touch, it made her tens of thousands of enemies that control untold tens of millions of subscribers and Twitter followers and Facebook page members and so forth on the internet who are all over the place and it increased their exposure so much that you know within 48 72 hours their roles were just absolutely blanketed with new recruits that had never even heard of the alt-right before so Hillary Clinton unfortunately her campaign unlike Trump's has sought to block the effects of these things Trump doesn't Trump gobbles it right down and, and, you know, obviously enjoys it to some extent. Just like he does his little facial mugging there. You know, Pepe the Frog. You think that that was a coincidence that he comes out and he makes those faces after looking at these memes. No, it's not. He's doing that on purpose. He knows it will overjoy the content creators that are now responsible for a significant flow of information, especially to those that are under 30 or 35. That's what he was doing. The internet is, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter, these things are much more important than any mainstream news outlet. It's more important, each one of them is probably more important than all of them put together at this point. That's how information works. The occult is hand in hand with it. The, the occult affects psychology. It's the main point of it. Occult ritualism often in a ceremonial form, if looked at from the sort of satanic perspective especially, but other perspectives as well, the New Age perspective, certain Eastern perspectives, my perspective certainly, is primarily about affecting psychology. You can ram your will into the world and ass-rape the world with your sheer willpower if you can get enough people behind your message. You can. You can completely fist it right down the world's ass. That's what I do. That's what I'm doing here. And it gives me great pleasure to know that there are many people out there who will never cast their vote for Hillary Clinton as the result of the actions of people like me. Some dude with a webcam who happens to have a YouTube channel. Some person who runs a Facebook page that has a couple thousand members, might not even be directly about politics, they just happen to post that one time. Somebody who's on Twitter who suddenly gains a viral following. These are the people driving the future. Not just in politics, 
in technology, the, the spread of information there is important, activism, everything related to society, organization, social reform, anything. It's all being driven by the internet. It's all being driven by what Hillary Clinton uh, unrighteously and stupidly says are basically basement dwelling nerds. That's your future. You shouldn't look at this as a bad thing, by the way. If somebody is intelligent enough to be involved with these things to any great degree, if they have the intelligence to make it work to some degree, then they're an individual and probably has a better skill set, even if they are like a total neat, probably still have a better skill set than some idiot like Hillary Clinton. Look at how she reacts to these things. So yeah, she's hexed. Yeah, dark energy is swirling around her. Her exterior is beginning, finally, at last, to resemble her heart which is blackened and crumbly and filled with nothing but evil and disdain for all of mankind. At last, she's finally beginning to break down so that her intelligence resembles her ethics. That is, she doesn't really have any ethics. That's all that has to be done. Once people, enough people, become aware that she's sick and she's fucked up and she's corrupt and old and stupid, she begins to more ably reflect these facts, partially because of people's cognitive dissonance, yes, but also partially because you think she's not aware of all these things? You think she's not aware of the fact that the majority of the public she sees her as a chronic liar, as completely corrupt, and increasingly sees her as a, a sick old woman? She's aware of that. Her mind, thus, is forced at least a few times a day to think of herself and consider herself as her real age as an old woman who shouldn't even be in politics anymore. That's what happens. It's affecting her mind too. What you know, mind she has left, she claims that she'd get a simple concussion and lost three or four years of memory. That is not normal under any realm of reasoning. It's, it's just, that's not the way things are supposed to happen. You get concussed, okay, well, it was all a blur, but do you forget your own name? Do you forget how to hold your urine in? Generally not. Apparently, in her case, it was a pretty damn bad concussion. But the occult has begun taking a toll on her. She can't speak without coughing. She sits there coughing for three minutes straight, guzzling that water down like rain, and she still can't quench her thirst, just like she can't quench her thirst for, uh, for filling her ego or uh, getting money out of the Saudi Arabians or something like that. So I'm very happy to be part of that. And you should take it seriously. It's the way that things are transferred from mind to mind. And if they're being transferred mind to mind, they're infiltrating into our very reality. They're infiltrating into the very fabric of existence. You don't have to admit that that's the case. You can be total anti-spiritual atheist, say, well, that's a bunch of nonsense. Proof is in the pudding. Look at how she acts. Look at the difference between how she spoke and acted at the beginning of this campaign and how she speaks and acts now. Now you would think, with her opponent being as weak and stupid as he supposedly is, she'd be doing better now. She'd be giving soaring speeches like Obama did. He was capable. Trump makes pretty good speeches. You'd think she'd be at least on par with that. She's not. She can't even speak. Her tongue is tied. She is bound. Be gone, wretch. We will withdraw you as infection is drawn from a wound. Things like that. Uh, that's basically the way that these things work. You don't have to believe in it. Uh, but for those of us who dabble or practice in these things, yeah, we're going to believe it. Because at the very least, even if we're completely deluding ourselves, it's entertaining. And she quite clearly is breaking down in body and mind. That's not exactly an illusion at this point. That's about all. Peace out.